Valerie, and today we're scavenging raised boots on a budget. This here is the screen accurate boots that were worn by Daisy Ridley as Rey in The Force Awakens. They are from a company called Pozu, and the style is called Piper V or 5, I'm not sure which way it's supposed to be, in the dark brown colorway. This is the modified version of a boot that I got on sale at Kohl's about this time last year, so February or March of 2016, when I wasn't sure how much I was going to wear in my Ray costume, as much work as I was putting into it. I had not yet joined Costumers with a Cause. I hadn't even considered putting in my Rebel Legion application, and so I was really, really leery of spending $200 on a pair of boots. Everyone on the RPF thread raved about how comfortable they were, how great the quality is, and all of those things are true. And if you have the money to spend on these boots for your Ray, do it. They're awesome. I love them. But I didn't know last year how much I was going to be Ray, how much value I was going to get out of them, so I decided to go a budget route. Now, when I was modifying these, I was kind of in a rush to get my costume ready for C2E2, so I didn't really do video. I did take pictures as I was going along, so you see those as I go through this video. But hopefully it will give you an idea of what I did, and if you really are on a budget and you want to go this route for your Ray boots, this is how you can do it. This began life as the Madden Girl Jackman boot in the gray multicolorway. Now, I had to crack up that the style was named Jackman because it sounds an awful lot like Jakku and it makes me wonder if they were actually inspired by Ray in naming the style, if not necessarily making it, because it was, you know, at first glance looked pretty darn good. And, you know, once you got once you got closer into it, it needed a little tweaking, which is what I did. But you can see the advantages that it had, it had this thing on the back, it's not quite the same shape, but it's got the, the spaces for you to put the laces through, it's got the little tab at the top. So all of that really, it helps the profile of the boot. It's got the beige rubber sole, and it's got a tweed upper. Now, this boot also has around the edges and across the toe cap, a uh, faux suede. The shaft of it was solid all the way around. And so the first thing I did, since they were gray and I wanted them to be brown, was to dye them. And that was an interesting process. What I discovered is these two tweeds are very different fiber content. So the tweed across the instep took the dye very well. And I'll show you the pictures of, you know, obviously you can't dump I didn't want to dunk the whole shoe in a dye bath, so I scotch taped off the sole and I actually put, boiled up some dye, you know, heated up some dye mix and I put it in a squirt bottle and I kind of squirted it all over and then I stored it upside down in, a, in my utility sink over an empty bottle to let it soak in and then I rinsed it out later. And what I discovered when I went to rinse it is that this part of the tweed took the dye very well and this part really didn't take it at all. I, I, the lower part must be a little bit of a blend and the upper part is apparently all polyester because it did not take any. So what I actually ended up doing was color this entire shaft with a brown permanent marker. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went to Walmart and bought a pack of permanent markers that were cheap and I sat on the couch in front of the television one day for like an hour and went over the white in this tweed with the brown permanent marker. Now the next step, because the shaft was solid, was to split it and that's the place that I think is the greatest weakness of my modified boots because you can see with the Pozu boot, they're, these are made with two different pieces. They're overlap, where this, I just, I split it and kind of pulled it together. And so especially down here by the ankle, it's hard to keep it from gapping a little bit. I have to be very careful when I put it on. But once I've got it on and laced, people don't think that it looks odd. I don't think, I've never had any weird reaction. I've always gotten good comments on these. Funny story. Um, a couple of my Ray cosplay photographs on Instagram 
were in fact liked by the Pozu official account and whether that was because they were hoping that I would come and buy their boots or because they didn't look closely enough at the photograph and thought that I was wearing their boots, I'm not sure. They're pretty comfortable. I did put an insole in them because there's really no support to speak of in the Madden Girl boot. Unlike, again, the Pozu, the insoles on these, oh my god. The footbed is so comfy and they're bouncy and you can see their sole is a bit thicker and the boot is a bit taller. So there are clear differences if you put them right next to each other. And the brown and gray, there, there's more of a gray mixed in with the brown than I had left over once I dyed and colored these. You might actually experiment with just doing the marker for the whole boot and seeing if you can get more of the gray to stay showing up because these did come out more brown when I was done. Now these had a thick fleece lining. They're really meant to be a winter boot which I cut out. Um, starting from here, there's a, a nylon cushion lining on this part and then the shaft is all, was all lined with plush. And I just unstitched that and I, I just cut it, cut it loose and I hemmed over the edges of where I had slit this, which made it even a little bit shorter. I mean, I made it as narrow a hem as I could. And then as you can see, I replaced the plush fleece lining with a felt and this I just used a craft felt just the squares that you get at the craft store you could if you wanted to go a little bit more authentic or if you wanted to put a little bit more into it you could go with the with the wool felt like they have in the posy boot um, the other difference you can see the posy boot has a seam up the front center and this boot does not so that's another little detail that's not you're not going to be able to get exactly the same uh, the the loops on the side for the laces because again the way that these came they just had it wrapped all the way around the the ankle i took uh, just this is just brown grosgrain ribbon that i bought and made the little loops out of to loop and then i got a shoelace that turned out to be actually very similar to the, the this, this lace is thinner but it's just a regular lace with the plastic things on the end um as you can see on the posu boot the the cap at the back of the heel goes farther forward and the cap at the back of the heel and the strip up the back is made of a faux leather that is actually made of cork. Uh, all the materials in the Posey boot are ethically sourced and vegetarian and all of that good stuff that's, a, that's part of their identity as a company and that along with just the general construction quality is why they cost what they do. They're awesome and I love them. And I did finally get around to buying them now that I know that I'm playing Ray a lot. So these I expect to also be a bit more durable than these since I, um, you know, cut up the sides and all of that good stuff. And they've done me good service. So yeah, and what I did, I just cut this shape. I stitched this part down first and then I cut along the edge to make it match and stitched it down by hand. And the nice thing about felt, of course, it's a little bit malleable so you can stretch it or mush it in to be the shape that you need it to be. So that wasn't too difficult to do. Even after the point where I realized I'm playing Ray a lot, I should probably get the screen accurate boots. I hesitated just because I put quite a bit of time into modifying these. So these are now gonna go live with my cousin's daughter who is 16. And so we have another Ray cosplayer in the making so everybody wins. And again, the boot that I started with is the Madden Girl Jackman in gray multi. Now I looked around, today is mid-February of 2017. I did buy these about a year ago and in the store and they're not impossible to find. I found a number of them today on eBay. Uh, Amazon has the Jackman listed, It not in the gray colorway. They have the, the multicolored one and then they have the white. I think that you would be able to do this with the white almost as easily as I did with the gray. I unfortunately am not finding listed Shoe Carnival DSW uh, Kohl's, which is where I bought them in the store, but it might not hurt to go in the store, see if they've got them on clearance. You never know. You might get lucky. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. May the force be with you. And until next time, bye-bye.